Sometimes someone experiences a mental health episode that ends up involving law enforcement. Crisis negotiators are there to help de-escalate the situation, but they have to be prepared well in advance of an emergency. And today, FBI agents in El Paso took part in crisis negotiation training. ABC 7's Rosemary Montanez brings us a story you'll only see on ABC 7. Rosemary. You need to respect my office. No, we're here no, you need to listen. You this is what crisis negotiators face daily as emotions are running high. This one involves Richard, an educator, and he has a gun. With elementary school students, well, what like you you're kind of holding us hostage right now. And what you're seeing right now is a real world scenario of a hostage situation. You can see Richard behind me. He's on the phone with a hostage negotiator because he's keeping these three people hostage right now. That includes a school board member as well as an assistant principal. To figure something out. I listen. The conflict stemming from an argument on teaching methods, and they're on the phone right now with negotiators who are trying to stop this hostage situation. On the other side of the phone is a crisis negotiator who's trying to de-escalate the situation. I've heard you mention technology several times. Um, is that something that you're, you're not, you don't seem too really fond about that? It kind of annoys you. You're going to do it my way or no way. And so it's, it's a completely made up scenario, but it's also a scenario that we can also maybe empathize with because we see, we do see that and right now we are in a different classroom from where we were right now but as you can see behind me these are all crisis negotiators who are on the phone with educator Richard who is holding the other three people hostage on the room you can see right now they were talking to him on the phone and what they're trying to do is de-escalate the situation it's my gun I own it I have, I have a permit for it okay well how about how can you and I resolve this and the team is working together to help resolve this situation. Special Agent Valerie Venegas says this negotiator on the phone tries to empathize with the person in crisis. No, my, my job is to talk to you and, and to build that relationship with you and understand you. Venegas also says during this process, mental health is top of mind. You're talking to somebody, like I mentioned, in the worst day of their lives. And so you carry that with you at the same time. And so we not only concentrate on the mental health aspect from the perspective of the victim or the subject, but also the mental health from our perspective as well. She says this training is just another tool for these agents' toolkit. Rosemary Montañez, ABC7.